era twagala okutuusa okusima eri abantu abache waddeyo okutambula ne mukama wafe wadde ebiro binonga sibyangu and we want to appreciate all the people that have given in their time to work with the Lord, even though the times are not easy. You made a very wonderful decision. And and I want to reach my condolences to all our friends that we all lost our dear bishop that we call the clan of this place. And we want to and most importantly, we want to reach our condolences to Mami Fever for the love, the much love we had with our dear Bishop. Personally, it has been a merry full family. And and they always melt me because I see a family that is perfect. Those who love the Lord. They love their children. They love each other. That love the people. And surely it was a family that the Lord had blessed. In this time, she's going through. If it wasn't encouragement in our Lord Jesus Christ, it is never an easy moment. But, but I thank the Lord because Mami Fever is so courageous because of our Lord that she believed. We want to tell you wherever you are that we are there for you. And we shall stand for you. Just like the grace that our Lord has given us. Because you've been good to us and you've been a parent to us. We shall still honor you and boost in you. You've, you've been a powerful hand unto Bishop in this ministry. And we believe that even in this situation, you're going to become a powerful hand in this ministry. And at this moment, I want to appreciate the team that is currently being led by Dr. Serumaga. He is handling us so well. We know him, we've grown with him. We know his heart. We know his life. And we believe that the God's grace we've been seeing under the leadership of Bishop. We believe that God is going to make us crossover in this journey. Jordan had many battles as they were crossing to inherit the land. For them to reach the inheritance of the land. The promised land. There were many nations that had to remind. remind. But, but through the leadership of the predecessor of Moses, we see that they were able to inherit the land. And we also believe that we are going to work together with the person that God has chosen so that we take people to the promised land. 
buzibu wa munne obunafu bwa munne tusobola okweguminkiriza tusobola okwe wabula tusobola okweza mama what makes me happy is that each one of us knows the weaknesses and strength of one another therefore we can encourage each other ekisinga byonna namwe abatugoberera abakiriza obwereza bano omulabirizi nga kya tukulembera era nzikiriza anti muchali mabega obwereza buno kubanga Kristo ye yabutandiko kulabanga ekiroto ekyava mutima gwa katonda kitukirira tusikirira ensensubize Most importantly even you listening and watching us we know that you're still following this ministry that has been under the leadership of our bishop and God purposed it that we shall inherit the land Ah uh, waliwe bimbye tusobola kola nga pastor team ne leaders obukulembeze endala naye amanyi gaffe gali jemuli there are some things that we can do as the pastor team and the ministry of this place, but we know that our strength is in you watching us. Every month we are a member of UCC, Arie we are in Nairobi, Uganda. Njagara kutegeza nti oliwa muga sonyo gwe wasobozi sobuwele zabo no kutuka wano ategwe gwendo kutusobozi sokuwa ongeri za ayo maso. Every member of UCC in the country and those abroad, we believe that you're so beneficial and you will take this ministry to the next level. Uh, buli muntu ngo imiri de mu kifocho no bera mwesi gwa no sigala ngo okola choba doko lango mulembe mulabiriza tukulembera tugenda kusobola kutusa abantu mu sensubize. If every one of us just like we've been under the leadership of bishop, we believe that you're going to stand with us and you stand in the position so that we reach that promised land. Bible yeri ne bisubizo binji the Bible has many promises that when the devil raises the dust, God will lift up a standard. We believe a standard again. And he who began a good work in us is faithful to accomplish it. We are more than prepared. We are going to stand for our Lord and for the people. We are going to stand for we the pastor team and you people who are following us we are going to purpose that we fulfill the vision of this ministry just like our bishop left it the source of our strength is God through Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit we are going to be able there is a song I heard where I've got two words that have touched me so much. We were worshipping it here. That he is holy and is faithful. That's what makes him unique. 100% Brother Ron, in this world that we live in, it's very hard to find a person who is 100% faithful and truthful. But through Jesus Christ alone, it's in him that we can take of that character of God. If he said he began a good work, he's faithful to accomplish it. And he is only, he's perfect. He begins the work with that character of perfection. He's going to give us the grace to fulfill every vision and dream upon United Christian Center. And just like he's faithful, he's going to become our light in this remaining journey. Our feet are not going to go astray. Just like we've been having the vision that speaks about the vision of the inner man. What we call the inner man. We are going to go back and keenly consider the meaning of that word. We are going to 
teach it such that it gets fully into people and they get the meaning of the importance of money. Because now we have a tangible testimony. But I thought that I would die before the bishop. Because I've been calling him the head of the clan. And I'd given him responsibility that if I dare leave this world, it is you to be responsible for every function. And even physically, if you had to consider me and Bishop, you would choose me to be the first to go. Because in my life I've been getting different weaknesses. It's amazing that's how the physical life is. It has an end. We may perhaps say that maybe Bishop had been talking about it and he doesn't need anything from God. But in that short moment, it was a delightful. I want to paint for you this life of the physical. One writer in the Bible says life is like a flower. It sprouts up and you see its beauty. Every one of us, you've been delightful in our bishop. And you look at you him and desire so many things from his character. But just like a flower flourishes and it gets down a bit. Likewise, the physical life fades away. May God give us the grace to understand the meaning of the vision of this ministry. Mama wa fefeva bwe ya yogera mazika na gabo lugana tute koku nyeze njiri ya yomu nfo womu nda. Nemplira muliani na toku bagu kobu pia. I began thinking about it when I heard our dear mom, Mami Fever, talking about it during the burial ceremony, that the inner man has to continue. And I got to know that God had kept with us some mystery, but some of us had not yet gone deeper in understanding it. And the servant of God had always explained to us, but maybe we had not taken it deeper. But now I've started to understand the heaviness of that. I've started to see the weakness of this body. In this short time, I've seen powerful people, honorable people dying. Those who have the ability to fight for their lives so that they can save themselves. Brethren, the end of this physical life, God purposed that it remains a secret with him just like the day of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. And for that reason, we ought to considerably go and keenly consider the mystery that's hidden in the inner so man. That, so that we teach it to people faithfully. In its fullness. And it's my prayer that the Holy Spirit reveals to us the meaning more than ought explained it to our bishop. To give us the wisdom to understand it more than we've understood it. To give us the boldness to take it forth. Because currently we've discovered that spiritual life is much more important than the physical life. The physical life is temporary. It goes when you're still enjoying it. But the 
one that God will give the grace. No no and you go through this world and you overcome. No kama, na and you reach before the great before God when he has given the grace to reach no his kingdom. And you inherit what we call eternal life. But the Bible says that blood and flesh is not worthy of that. It was prepared for the spiritual life. It's our spiritual life that's going to inherit the kingdom of God. We are going to rejoice in that life where there is no crying. I've continued to have hope in when me. When I find out so the God who promised is faithful, He is perfect. That's why He's called holy. Because He doesn't transgress. He doesn't end on the way when He has begun something. I feel the boldness and the hope that this ministry is continued. God is going to use us more than God ever. Is going to raise youth women, men who are going to be used in an amazing way. You're going to see everyone standing in that position in an amazing way. As the leaders, we pray that God gives us the wisdom to live lift up those people that guide them in love and to wish them well to go forward. We believe that God who began UCC is going to make us plow this journey until Christ will come back for the church. We are not going to give faint in the Lord of Jesus. We are not going to fail out bit financially. God is going to raise up rich and faithful men who are going to invest in this ministry. He's going to bless Christians who are going to be faithful in giving in the tithe and offering the house of the Lord. Because everyone is going to discover they have a little time. The faithful God, the perfect one who works everything in truth he is going to pay everyone in a good way. He is going to pay everyone in a good way. I've understood those two words, holy and perfect and faithful in that song that we're singing. I've continued to love the Lord. If he's perfect, that means all his plans are perfect. If he's perfect, everything he does is perfect. If he is faithful, he means what there is no deceit. Every promise of his is going to be fulfilled. The perfect God, the faithful God, only him is worthy to be given the honor because his character there is no other God was it I want to read a few words I'm basing from 1 Corinthians 15 that chapter is long. It has about 58 verses. There are many portionments of the word that Apostle Paul was speaking. But most of them were explaining the relationship of the physical and the spiritual life of a person. The power of death and the power of resurrection. The importance of the life of the spiritual and the physical life. I'm going to begin from verses 50. This is what it says. 
Paula agamba nti na chino chenjogera Abo Uganda Ngo mubili no musai Tebi inza kusikira buwaka waka waka tonda So Okuvunda Te kusikira butavunda Amen First Corinthians 15 verse 50 Now this I say brethren That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God Nor does corruption inherit incorruption Runyiriri runo wawuli lechigambe chitani se Na yechi no chenjogera Chibanga yechi tegeza nti Evi gambo binu biata andi se Biebi nyonyura evi nji Bio sanga mnyiriri anamu muenda In this verse as it's beginning they say Now this I say it means That these verses we are going to read Explain whatever is in chapter 15 Abanga afuziza Evi gambe evi nji Bia yogere mnyiriri anamu muenda it's like he has engulfed up all the other scriptures he spoke in the 49 verses. And then he shows you his focus where I had put it as he was explaining the other words. And he shows you the great theme he was considering. I want us to understand this. That truthfully you cannot deny it. Unless God gives us the grace to change. We focus so much on planning for the physical life. And one now was speaking the people I work with in DD. A great teacher in teaching eschatology. This is what he said. I marvel this life. Avant to engage the bad planning, the more we are moving, we are going to be going to The way people plan for the physical life, they, it may seem as if it's it's permanent. The, the plans we make for the physical life are to establish ourselves on the physical world. I've so far lost three great pastors who have helped me in this journey of ministry. One thing I've learned from them that by the time God takes them from the tears of finances from struggling in this physical life financially where you can say someone has come to satiate all these finances. That's when they leave the world. One was called Pastor Beswe Dongo. God had given him a blessing. He's the one who began the schools of God cares. I really don't know how many children God used him to help in this generation. But he was not also educated. But he had a heart. He hoped and up to now the ministry we is so we hoping. We were to go to the ministry and we were to go to the ministry and we were to go to I knew his life. They, they did all they could so that they could save his physical life, but it was hard. Another was Reverend John Mugera. I knew those two and by the time you would see that now they are firm, let them enjoy the ministry. That's when God would take them. In the much beneficial, in the much blessing, another is my friend I've been calling the head of the clan. I know him, I've ever slept with him in a room. For one year and two months I was residing I used to work with him. I've ever resided at his place in Zengebe in a Gothash house that was draining. Because I was 
I'd seen that surely God had been faithful with our bishop concerning finances and I knew that he's also going to lift me up financially. Those three people and other people that we've lost, it has assured me that this physical life is temporal. It is temporal. Let us learn how to number our days. Let us work the right thing to do. It's not for promising I'm going to do it tomorrow. It's a time to hear God speak and you do immediately. Our bishop would always say, that amid is doing the work of mission he has sent you for that's when God is going to take you. Whenever he would speak like that I would think that maybe that's the day God is going to take the church. I didn't know that amid is the many plans God had given him that's when he's going to take his life. Now who you, you who has remained What are you learning How far have you taken your responsibility How much have you done How much are you left with You may be in that category of people Who keep promising I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it the other year I want to tell you this time is not for promising but a time to work. It's a time to put in action. It's not a time of merely speaking. Hearing and putting in action. Hearing and putting in action. Because it seems God is taking his righteous. Don't forget. Don't forget that flesh and blood are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Every temptation that puts down the Son of Man, it's behind the desires of the body. And for that reason, let us understand it, brethren. That Jesus Christ, he died for us. When he wanted our spiritual life not to be destroyed, he didn't come to help this physical life. He came to give us life of perfection. Our spiritual life, our inner man, is the one who wants to inherit the kingdom of God. He enters into the full joy. That's what Apostle Paul says. And he says, this is what I say, brethren. That the flesh and the blood they will not inherit the kingdom of God. And verse 51. And verse 51. And verse 51. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. What Mary's remember of these men? Whenever they would speak about the things of the kingdom, they would not see them from afar. They would see them from near. That's why they always serve the Lord persistently. The, they would speak as if they are going to see the rupture, the change of some another life. They were speaking as if rupture was going to take place the following day. So brethren, what do we learn? Maybe we've been excusing ourselves. And we say, there is still some time. We still have time. Let's first get this deal. Let me first do this. I will repent. I will do. I will serve the Lord. Let me first rejoice my soul. Let me first rejoice my soul. Let me first prepare for the life. But 
time is not on your side. It's going to hurt so much. When someone who left great plans. You prepared for your physical life. And you prepared for everything. But you left it. And you reached eternal life. You are about to enter forever. But there is nothing you put there. Brother and time has come. That we think about the life that is coming. This is the right time. That we think about the life coming again. That Christ died for us on the cross. That is the life that brought him. He wants our spiritual life to be chained. No yambula guno guvunda no buleka. You take off this no yambula no yambalo guta vunda. And you put on the incorruptible body. That you go in the life of joy. It will be sorrowful friends. If you live the corruptible life, where you focus, you rejoin this corrupt life. But you never mind that you take care of the corrupt life. It's going to be hurting. When there was a blessing of working for the tender life. Friends, I want to call upon you. That time has come. That we understand. That my spiritual life is more precious. Let us press it. Let us take it as variable. Let us plan for that spiritual life. Fifty-two. In a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. At the last trumpet. For it will sound. And the dead will be raised incorruptible. Mangwago. He was speaking as the rapture was going to take place the following day. What do you learn from here? He would walk every day prepared for the rapture. He was already prepared for the rapture. As we are the born again of this generation, we are so thoughtful. Everything we push it the next day. But for Paul, he would speak of rapture as if it was going to take place the next hour. Remember that too. Death. Death is the way that makes us rich. Rapture. The rupture is also another way that takes us. Now it would be good. Rupture may not come. But you don't know what is next. You do not know. There is a family at our place of residence. They used to be weak. And they rested at night. As it was coming to morning. They were brothers, a brother and a sister. So the sister is on the first day. In the next hour, the brother also died. But they rested not knowing that they were going to die. Now this first born again. They were so determined. Every time they would walk prepared for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. They were prepared for that destiny. May God help us. That we also be responsible enough. To walk prepared for the journey. Because. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible and this mortal must put on immortality. Even death has something good. 
okufa death tufunye ye kirunje chikulimu we've got something good in it owanyisa you were exchanged oguvunda no yamba ziwa ogutavunda the corruptible and put on the incorruptible simanyi gutavunda we gufanana i don't know how the incorruptible looks like na yo kufa we kuwerao but when death happens atejukira anti abatukirivu siwe bafu nabo ko gutafa nabo nonyi nabo bambalo gutafa babere mugeyena mukubona abona ngate bafa Remember not only the righteous put on the incorruptible but also the sinners so that they in hell when they're not dying. In a bad thing we've got something good. In death we've got something good. There is exchange of death. No and you dress up the incorruptible. But the question is The incorruptible is so nice when you've gone to the eternal life. If the incorruptible there takes you to the place of hell, it's going to be bad. Because it will be in pain that is not ending. Ladies and gentlemen, we are fearing COVID. And we locked ourselves in the houses. But we don't fear sin. But yet sin. Is what will cast you to the other side where there is unending pain. Father save us. That we learn how to fear sin. Let us avoid sin. That we can die at last. And we are dressed with the incorruptible. The immortal one. As we are going to the side of inheriting. I pray for everyone. 54. Gulibanga gumaze okwamba lobutavunda no kufa kuno okwamba lobutafa ekigambe kyawandikiwa ne kiriyo kachitukirira nti okufa kumiridwa mkuwangula Amen so when this corrupt bias put on incorruption and this mort has put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory if i know something that scares people is called death it's bishop who used to preach about death broadly when you're hungry i'm I'm dead, I'm dead. Anything was always full of death. That's what he always told us. Meaning that there is terror in death. And to people. But the Bible says, I have good news. Whatever begins as an end. The Bible says, The verse is telling us 55 or death where is your victory your death where is your stinge a time is going to come when death malaika gwebaita omukadde bone yabulira malaika oyo mumunzijukiza akule myoyo who is that angel who takes out the souls? I know it's not here. The angel who took out the souls. I know it's not here. The angel who took out Limbuze nandi badendi babula riali litisa ngabo wuliro erinya nengeri jaja na akulemyo kati yo malaika akulemyo yo so the angel takes out the soul we baita kufana ya akula jabali abadda side eri quiz called death pulls out those of those going to the other side amanye gegali bagawedde his strength will be no more wali we kisere kigenda okutuka a time is going to come eri aba bafwa bafira mu kama wafe and to the dead who died in our lord jesus christ aba bisangi bwanga bali ndirido kujja kwa mu kama wafe and those will be found when they were waiting for the coming of our lord jesus christ when they don't have any terror in death when they don't have any terror in death ngaba wangu do kufa and they overcome death njagala kusaba wo luganda i want to be such a brother ya tio kufa whoever fears death da kusaidia yesu come to the side of jesus kubanga yesu ya wangu 
Because Jesus overcame death. Because Jesus overcame death. There is a day the Bible has told us. It's going to be at the end of the day. It will be like any other day. When Mr. Death has no strength to kill. Most of those in Christ Jesus. When in their life it has been fulfilled. When the Bible says that Jesus came to give us a perfect life. When we are given that life in fullness. When we don't have any fear of death. When our tongue no longer says we are dead. When it's full of words of worship. Full of words of thanksgiving. When we speak of the goodness of the Lord. Who got for us victory? I also have some other good news. When Mr. Death has died, and also Mr. Sin, and also the law of sin, they will be gone. All those are terrifying. They are terrifying. But they have a time. They have a time. I told you whatever comes as an end. Likewise, death is going to have an end. I read a scripture that says people would desire for death but to be running away from them. It will no longer have the power to kill. They would be beseeching to die. But when the one who takes out the soul, when he has no strength to uproot the soul, when he was weakened because Christ overcame him him. that time is going to come that's why I rejoice because I believe Jesus who overcame him I'm on the side of Jesus who overcame him I would have feared sin but what brought Jesus he brought he knew the danger of these three people. He knew the danger in the law. There is no one dressed physically who can put the name. Because truthfully, the faithful one is only one Christ. He's God the Father. He's the Holy Spirit. He intrinsically is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Only him is holy. The faithful one. And worthy of the oh, you and through Jesus Christ we are going to overcome we are going to overcome sin we are going to be justified why? for the grace of God through Christ Jesus for the love of God he gave in his only begotten son that whoever believes in him may not be forfeited but will inherit eternal life what brought him was to recompense to God was to overcome for us the three enemies I want to tell you brethren whoever is in Christ Jesus his time is to be a famished be a famished Jesus let us serve the faithful one let us give ourselves in the faithful one the one who is faithful and is perfect Verse 57. But thanks be to God. Who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I feel that what came from the heart of Paul when it was full of thanksgiving. It is full of integrity. It's full of honesty. It surely feels that Jesus did a great thing for us. He is worthy to be appreciated. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be sacrificed He He is worthy to be given what he is worthy of the glory. Because he overcame death for us. He overcame 
overcame sin for us. He weakened the Lord. He believed. He became a sacrifice. We are saved by grace. I want to read for you the last verse. Therefore, my beloved brethren, it's a parental word. And it's for it's for rebuking. No. What do you mean? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steady, fast, and immovable. That's what I tell you and I beseech you to be. Most so fellow UCCians, be in one place. Be immovable, be stable in one place. When someone uses these words, it has great meaning. My brother Agumiza. He has made it a firm. He's sharing life. heart to heart. If you are it's not merely speaking. If you had authority, you would just impart this words in your heart. It, it speaks out of a good heart. Therefore, my beloved brethren. Be steady fast. I'm also beseeching you, fellow people of the inner man ministry. Be immovable. Let us be immovable. God exchanged and took his servant where he has been desiring for. But God who began this work, he's still there. And he's going to lift another. Agenda kumusemba. He's going to command him. He's going to no use us. Therefore be immovable. Don't be discouraged. Munyere. Be courageous. Don't be immovable. Always abound in the Lord. Abound more in the Lord. In the work of the Lord. Knowing. That your labor. Is not in vain in the Lord. I want to end up urging every team also from the top leadership let us make a chain as United Christian Center as Inaman Ministries let us make a chain of leadership in unity respecting one another believing in one another and making a chain when we are taking forth the ministry in love and making a chain when we are taking forth the ministry in love and making a chain when we are government others when we are vessels for our let us do the work of our Lord that we may not be movable everyone in your team stand where you've been standing be faithful more than you've been you have been giving in money we need it more than we've ever needed it you have been praying you have been praying we need your prayers more than before. You have been giving counsel. We need the wisdom that's taking us forth. Hallelujah. Amen. Allow me to end here. I want to wind up telling you. Let us not be moved We are not going to be shaken. The Bible has told us. Let us continue abounding in the work of the Lord. This work is for the Lord. Let us continue in serving you. I want to call upon the team I need of the minister of 
minister it is a time to arise you are the youth come and we do the work in power we are waiting for you we want to see you work like we are going to roll the ball to the youth you are our goalkeepers you are our implementers we need you and all people of UCC it is a time to serve the Lord with our life with our finances for Christ who began this work is still alive and you listening to me with today this ministry the vision of this ministry is going to be fulfilled may God bless you keep yourself in the Lord may God bless you keep yourself in the Lord Wow, Let's continue to give a mighty hand clap to Jesus. For those words. Thank you so much, Pastor Alex. Those words encourage us. We desired them on such a day. God is so good. Wow. We want to pray in those words. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together, Lord, with cords that cannot be broken. And there is that song that talks about binding us with cords. I know everyone, wherever you are, who is watching us. Let it be a prayer. Can I say a Ferinyariayo United Christian Center? That the name of our church, United Christian Center, it can be your United. That word, the Chobumu, it has power. I pray that God establishes it. And as we sing this song, may He continue to bind our hearts together. Department says, Angelo. May he continue to join us the different departments. May he continue to prepare us. Everyone in their lineage. That we continue to serve our Lord just like Pastor Alex has said. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together with codes that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cause that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. Oh, bind us, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us. Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. Bind us, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us. Together, Lord, bind us together.
Oh, you must so much in the But you won't know me why I die sick of them for food. Oh, you must so much in the Oh, but when you won't need to search for me to go with it. Between the so good job, we are going to do it. We are the sun, you come up. We are in your way, we are in your way. We are in your Amina, come at Mongering along at Maridiza. 